Hi everyone and welcome back to another session of the series API testing using Postman. In today's video, we will see how to send a put request. So today's session will cover what is put method? What's the difference between put and post methods? Then we will go through an example and at the end we will have an assignment. So first of all, let's see that what is a put method. So the definition says that put method is used to send data to a server to update or create a resource. So there are two parts to this definition, update a resource and create a resource. So first of all, let's have a look at the first part, which says updates an existing resource. Okay, so when we send a put request to update a specific resource, if that resource already exists, then it is updated as per the request. And in this case, we can receive two responses, either 200, which is okay, or 204, which means no content. Okay, so now what's the difference? So 200 means that the request has been successfully completed and we will also see uh, in the response body that what was updated. In 204, it means that still the request has been successfully completed, but there is no additional content to send in the response body. And that's the only difference. Whether it's 200 or 204, in both cases, the request has been successfully fulfilled. It's just the usage that where you want 200 and where you want 204. Like I can give you an one example for 204. So it's like commonly used with the um, with the editing interfaces where a user um, is performing um, a saving save action. And uh, instead of uh, refreshing to a new page, the user stays on the same page and continue editing. So this is like one example of 204 response. Okay, so now let's go uh, to the next part of the definition, which is create a resource. So in case that when we send a put request to update a specific resource, if that resource doesn't already exist on the server, then we will receive the response 201, which means created. It means that the resource which we wanted to update on the server didn't exist. So that's why now that resource has been created. And next time, if we send the same um, um, the same request, then yes, we can uh, now the resource would be created. So next time we can update that resource. So I hope that this part is clear. Next is what are the differences between put and post methods? This question comes very, very commonly in the interview. So I wanted to cover this bit. So first of all is the uh, usage of both methods. So we have just seen that put can be used for updating or it can create a resource as well if it doesn't already exist. But its main job is to update a single resource while main job of a post method is to create a resource. Second difference is in the syntax. Okay, so let's see uh, the syntax of put. So if we can see over here, it is showing us an identifier. So it indicates that we are updating a resource which is identified by two. So this identifier is chosen by the client. So we have chosen, we have given this identifier. While in post, we don't use any identifier. It indicates that we are creating a new resource and it returns an identifier to describe the resource. So in this case, identifier is returned by the server. And the third difference is idempotent. So put method is known as idempotent. It is idempotent. And what does that mean? That if we are calling the same put request multiple times, it will always produce the same results, which means that it's not changing anything. And that's why put method is known as idempotent. 
while the post method is not item potent if we are calling a post request multiple times it will actually create the same resource multiple times on the server that's why post is not item impotent. So for example, over here, uh, I will also show you uh, when we will go to the, um, the Postman interface that if we are, uh, if we have already updated uh, the identifier, the resource at this ID two, then however times we will keep on sending the same request it will just keep on overwriting it. It will not change anything unless we are changing any anything in the request body while over here every time it will create a new resource so let's say first time it has created a resource and its id is 10 the next time when again we will send the same request it will create another resource with id 11 then 12 then 13 and hence on like this so that's why this is not idempotent okay so now let's go back to our postman interface and see um see an example okay so we will be using the same website request.in uh, for creating our example over here so first of all we will uh, copy over here we will copy the url right i'm going back to the postman interface and i will create a new request and this time we will select Put from the drop down and we are and we are just copying the URL we are just pasting the one which we have just uh, copied from there okay so just like the post method a put request also has a body so we will select raw and from here JSON the same we did for the post request okay and now we will go back here and we will also copy this body over here and we will paste it here right okay so now what we are saying that in our request that the resource on this id which is two please update the uh, the resource name to this and job to this okay and let's now send this request so you can see that we have got 200 status which means that it has been successfully uh, executed it's uh, the resource at id2 was successfully updated and we have also got that in the response body as well that name is this job is this and it is updated at this time uh, so we can also save this, this response and uh, there is uh, one more thing which I want to show you that uh, we just read that uh, put method is idempotent which means that now we have firstly updated it and no matter how many times we do this we keep sending the same one you can see the timestamp over here is changing but it's the same thing it's just overwriting it so just to make this thing clear I would like to do a post method as well so let's say that we are doing a post request okay we can see from here which is create so just copy from here and uh, in the body okay so we are just copying from here and the body says okay now this is the okay so when we are sending a post request let me change it to post request now when we are changing it to post request The status which we have received the response which we have received is 201 which means that in this location a new resource was created 
and we have also received an id which is 782 okay now let's see that what happens if we send this request again see now again a new resource has been created with another id which is 90 so every time we will send the same request a new resource will be created so that's why this is not idempotent okay so i hope that uh, this part is clear okay so uh, i hope that uh, you have understood that what is a put method and uh, how is a difference how is it different from post and get method which we have already covered right okay so now uh, let's go back to our last part which is uh, our assignment okay so what i would like you to do is to play around with the put method a little bit so i've shown you a positive scenario where uh, you have seen that we have got a 200 response so i would like you to try sending a put request without the identifier and then see that what response do you receive and the other thing i would like you to try is that send a put request with an identifier but without anything in the request body which means that you are giving an identifier but you are not adding anything in the request body you are not telling that what you want to update uh like what information you want to update so uh and then see that uh, what do you notice in the response body okay so that was uh, all for today's session so if you found this video useful please show your support by liking this video and also consider subscribing to the channel i will see you in the next video till then take care